Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. You know, sometimes some of the stuff you want just is not available where you live. That's one of the reasons why I buy a lot of my knives from outside of Canada. Uh, the other reason is usually knives cost a fair bit more inside Canada than they do somewhere else. I got a package today from Germany because I found some knives uh, well, this one's one knife that uh, is only available in Germany. And so one of my viewers volunteered to send it to me. So I paid him for it and uh, he shipped it to me and it's in here. So let's get to the tabletop. He said there's a surprise in there as well. So let's get to the tabletop and find out. So I've got this Free Tiger, the FT11, that I'm working on the review for. So that'll be done pretty soon. Let's, uh, he said, be careful with the package. So I'm going to be careful with the package. There we go. Probably don't need that anymore. Paper, paper, plastic, aha, that's a flashlight tube. Put that right there. Hey, <laughs> it's all in little parts. There's the lens with the uh, chip in it. And the cap for the back. That's probably everything you need. Well, I need a battery. Shaking it to try to get this to come out. It's the WowTac A6. I've reviewed WowTac before. I kind of like what they do. And there's the rest of it. It probably didn't fit in that box unless he took it apart. I think, yeah, that's what he said. He uh, couldn't fit it all in the package unless he took it apart. So there you go. I'm going to, of course, get a, uh, that's probably this way. Get an 18650 battery. I've got a number of them and I'll put it in there. And uh, some spare parts. And we'll see how well it works. But this is what I wanted to get only in Germany. By the way, Real Steel has got a new store. It's called realsteelshop.com. I've got a referral link down below. You will save $10 off of your first purchase there. You'll get a coupon code to spend on your very first purchase. They've got a lot of stuff there that uh, is limited runs, stuff that you can't get anywhere else, uh, custom things. Like they had one of their Kiridashis that was in Damascus. It was one of one that they had. That's sort of the, the high-end limitation of some things. Other things they've got multiples of. The H6 Blue Sheep, I really like the H6 series of knives. But for some reason, this knife, uh, out of the Germany warehouse, they couldn't ship it to North America, at least not at that time. And that's why I got my friend to order it. This is the Blue Shred um, carbon fiber. So it's, let's put it down here where we're in focus. So it's Blue Shred carbon fiber. So it's carbon fiber and blue. I don't think it's supposed to glow in the dark, though. Not totally sure. And this was like 36 American dollars, 39, definitely under 40 American dollars for this. And uh, I really like the uh, Blue Sheep stuff. Look at that beautiful blade. 14C28N, under $40, 
think I just had to uh, get this. And I'm so glad that uh, my friend Thomas in Germany was willing to mail this to me. And then he gave me a gift on top of that. So thank you very much, Thomas. This is beautiful. Oh, that looks great. I've got, this is the, um, the Blue Sheep series, the H6. Oh yeah, it says right there, H6 Blue Sheep. Uh, Liang Gang Design, one of the first designers for real steel knives. He was, re, he was doing uh, San Remu designs for a long time. A lot of their smaller knives, their 7000 series knives, I've got that, uh, or I've had, that were designed by him. Lockup is perfect. Yeah. I'll have to do a review on this. It won't be a super long review because I've done videos for H6 uh, series knives before the Blue Sheep. Lanyard tube... G10 backspacer. The only thing I wish they had, it would be a little cap right here. You can do tip up or tip down pocket clip. And I'd like to have a little steel cap to put there. That would be a really nice touch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Of course, they do a microfiber cloth with everything that they ship. So, uh, actually, I'm going to pause it here and go get a battery for that wow tap. I dropped it. So, whoa. <laughs> Trying too hard to go too fast here. So I've got a number of spare batteries. Yeah, of course, I put the battery in the wrong way. It shouldn't be that way. Hmm. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Yeah, it should be this way. Well, my battery might be dead. So, I don't like that it feels loose in there, though. Maybe I didn't put it together properly. We'll see. I'll play with this and uh, get it working. And, uh, yeah, a couple nice things. Check out the Real Steel Shop. Use my uh, referral coupon code, uh, my, my referral link. It's a great way that you can support the channel. And after you get $10 off your first purchase, you're going to be happy. <laughs> this was designed and made back, uh, I don't know if this one was made back, probably not. <laughs> but the design was before... Uh, Ball bearings became super popular, so it's got washers in there, but I don't mind at all. I like good washers, because look at this. Are ball bearings going to open it any faster than that? I don't think so. It's going to be the same. <laughs> so very nice, and it's going to get even smoother once I've worked it in. Beautiful. So happy. So thank you for watching my little video. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, friends, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.